Welcome to Nightline for Thursday, January 21st, 2021. I am Hannah with school news and announcements for Jose Marti Mass 6 to 12 Academy. We'll begin with our local weather report. Here's Camila Marti. I'm Camila Marti with your Nightline weather. It's 61 degrees and fair conditions with 78% humidity as we begin the day. Expect partly cloudy skies with high temperatures in the mid 70s today. Chance of rain today is under 5%, which will continue through Saturday. The high today is projected to be 77 with an overnight low of 59. Winds are expected from the north in the morning hours shifting towards the southwest as the day goes on. Gusts will be around 2 to 6 miles per hour. That's all for your 9-9 weather. Back to you. Thank you, Camila. The yearbook is available for pre-order for $40. The first 100 buyers get to pick the cover color. Pre-purchase your copy at yearbookforever.com. Makeup yearbook pictures for staff and students will be on Saturday, February 6th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. by appointment only. If you're not able to make it to campus, you may submit your own portrait for the yearbook. Dedication pages are available in the 2021 yearbook. The deadline to submit photos and a personalized message is February 1st. Please visit our school social media accounts and the school website www.josemartimas.net and look for a yearbook or contact Ms. Morales for more details. Ever wonder what's going on in the world? Here's Emily Campos with Planet Report. I'm Emily Campos with Planet Report. Reuters is reporting that United Arab Emirates has signed an agreement with the United States to purchase 50 F-35 jets and up to 18 armed drones. The UAE, one of Washington's closest Middle East allies, has long expressed interest in acquiring stealthy F-35 jets made by Lockheed Martin and was promised a chance to buy them in a side deal when it agreed to normalize relations with Israel last August. The UAE and the United States had once hoped to have a deal placed in December, but the timing of jet deliveries, their cost, the technology packages, and training associated with the deal extended negotiations. The jets are a major component of a $23 billion sale of high-tech armaments from General Atomics, Lockheed Martin Corp., and Raytheon Technologies Corp. to the U UAE announced this fall. The UAE government also signed a separate agreement to buy up to 18 drones and the second largest sale of U.S. drones to a single country. An initial proposal sent to the UAE said that said 2027 would be the final in-country delivery date for the F-35 jets. That's all for Planet Report. Back to you. Thank you, Emily. If you're feeling sad, lonely, or anxious, remember that help is all around you. The MDCPS Department of Mental Health Services is here for you, and there are many school resources available. Students can talk to a teacher, school counselor, or mental health professional who can guide you to and or assist with needed support. There is also a 24-hour crisis support line available. Call 1-800-784-2433 or text HELLO to 741-741 to get help. In Miami-Dade County Public Schools, mental wellness matters and someone is here for you. January is the birth month of Jose Marti. Each day this month, we will bring you some information about our school's namesake. Here's Lietti Rivero with Jose Marti's thought for the day. Marti's thought for today is, it is necessary to do well, even after death. Therefore, I write. El pensamiento martiano de hoy es, es preciso hacer bien, aun después de haber muerto. Por tanto, escribo. Thank you, Lietti. The day off this past Monday was due to the observance of the Martin Luther King National Holiday. Our African American Cultural Association has created this biography of the historical figure. Remembering Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by the African American Cultural Association. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. Martin Luther King Jr was an American Baptist minister and activist who became the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement from 1955 until his very unfortunate assassination in 1968. Powerful inside and out the classroom. King entered college at the age of 15. King was such a gifted student that he skipped grades 9 and 12 before enrolling in 1944 at Morehouse College. King received his doctorate in systematic theology. King attended graduate school at Boston University, where he received his Ph.D. degree in 1955.
March on Selma. On March 7, 1965, around 600 people began the Selma to Montgomery March led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Led by Martin Luther King Jr., the march was the culminating event of several tumultuous weeks during which demonstrators twice attempted to march, but state troopers violently attacked the peaceful demonstrators to stop the march for voting rights. As many as 25,000 people participated in the roughly 50 mile, 80 kilometer march. Additional groundbreaking work. King's I Have a Dream speech was not his first at the Lincoln Memorial. King delivered his national address on the topic of voting rights. His speech, in which he urged America to give us the ballot, drew strong reviews and positioned him at the forefront of the civil rights leadership. Monumental Day. King sought equality and human rights for African Americans the economically disadvantaged, and all victims of injustice through peaceful protests. Dr. Martin Luther King Day is on the third Monday of each January each year. We not only honor his hard work and sacrifice on this monumental day, but every single day. Thank you. That's it for us today. I am Hannah with Nightline. Thank you to Camila, Emily, Lieti, and Cameron for contributing to our show. We'll see you next time.